Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to your channel. And today we're gonna to be checking out yet another bootable USB for IT professionals. So let's get started. So on my previous videos where I'll leave a link right over here, uh, you guys mentioned Gandalf and I also made a little community post. Again, you guys mentioned Gandalf. So we're gonna be checking that out today and see what all the hype is about. So jumping over to the desktop, uh, we have Gandalf's website. Um, there is no download link unless you donate. So you do have to donate in order just to get the download link. And the latest version I believe is this one, the Redstone 8. And when I donated and got the link, it only gave me this version, which is the 11, which I wish I uh, could have test the 10 PE as well, because the tools on here look slightly different than what we have on the 11 version. So either way, we're going to be taking a look at 11. You can get everything off his website. He also does have a YouTube channel that you could check out the bootable USB. So yeah, I'll leave everything we talk about in the description down below. So let's begin. Now I'm going to head over to rebooting the computer. I'm just hitting delete to get into the BIOS menu. All right, uh, I am gonna pop over to the USB boot menu. And also you guys notice that I am on different RAM frequencies. I will fix that later in the future. Just for now, I just left it like that. But yeah, I'm gonna head over to uh, boot menu and boot into UEFI boot disk. And I am using Ventoy to boot this. So here we go, we're gonna be testing 11, boot into normal mode. You do need a minimum of four gigs of RAM and it's recommended to use eight gigs of RAM for better performance. But uh, what I have here should be more than enough, which is 24 gigs of RAM. Okay, here we go. We are booting into the desktop, I guess. And I guess that's the logo that he uses, which is his face and you know, the windows icon. Does it automatically sort out the resolution? Is this 1080 right now? All right, there we go. It did take about two minutes to boot and it boots up with my computer showing up. It shows the RAM disc. Ventoy and a few other stuff over here. Um, I don't know, I didn't click anything, so those two just popped up automatically. All right, so as far as the desktop goes, we have my computer, recycling bin, we could change the theme, uh, donate to him again over here, latest Gandalf PE, uh, pen network, set DPI, remount drive, we could subscribe to this channel, volume, wallpaper, home. Okay. Uh, we do have standard little applications here, C drive, VLC media player, Chrome, and Firefox. Uh, the network seems to be working at, right off the bat. It does grab an IP address, so I do have networking here. And these are the main menus. So I'm gonna go over to programs and kind of go down the list. As far as accessibility goes, we have the standard stuff that you would normally find on Windows, except for this one lope. In uh, accessories, we have calculator, notepad, uh, steps recorder, okay and regular WordPad. As far as browsers, we have Google, Edge, Firefox, and Tor. Okay, now this is where it changed from version 10, uh, I mean Windows 10. Uh, it actually had Internet Explorer, which is something still useful if you're using really old applications that you require ActiveX, which is a huge vulnerability problem. But then again, I still have an ILO uh, for HP that requires Internet Explorer because I need to use ActiveX on it and Windows 10 had it. This Windows 11, I guess they got rid of that, which is not a huge deal breaker, but it would have been nice to have. All right, as far as CDVD, CDVD, um, we have Active ISO, Image Burn, ISO Burner. Okay, the standard stuff, cool. Uh, drive management, oh, driver management. This is DirectX, install basic drivers, plug and play utilities, okay. Uh, what's up, file task. This is where majority of my time is spent basically on file task or disk management or stuff like that on other versions of bootable USBs. Uh, but we do have a huge series of tools and this one does have Apple FS. So I, I guess it could read, I think it's called HSF plus. Um, compression utilities, the seven zip win raw, okay. Cut long names, dir lister, everything. Explore, explore plus plus, that's pretty cool. File copy, that is the program. Um, file types, HXD64, Linux Reader. So that's really cool. They have a Linux Reader here, Linux File System for Windows, NTFX Explorer, uh, Unlocker, uh, WizTree. Uh, it actually doesn't have that Winder tree. That's an application I use a lot too, just to see used up space. Uh, let's take a look at Linux FS for Windows because I am running a Linux system here and can I mount it just for testing? Yeah, I'll mount it to D. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. 
it actually mounted to D and where is this drive now local disk oh my god I mean it's for reading right now so I can't delete anything but it I could read Linux file systems off here cool and Mac file system so technically if you get this to boot on Mac you could read Mac file systems uh, what do we got over here uh, where were we up to games free cell mahjong oh my god these are really old school games free cell I like uh, HD task okay here's another tool that we you know basically spend our time on which is you know file backup restore and stuff like that so we have uh, boot ice uh, drive genius defragment tools uh, diagnostics and you guys were right on the last video I didn't even think of that because we still use a lot of spindle drives for like networks and uh, NASes. so defragging I guess makes sense but I wouldn't pull a hard drive out from a NAS I don't know that's just me um, we have disk wiper this to VHD I actually use this tool a few times just to image this into a VM this wipe dism GUI dism plus plus that's the one I use dism plus plus uh easy, easy bcd uh ghost ghost 64 low level format imaging so we have uh active disk imager iomi uh a bunch of other tools here r drive terabyte drive image backup lazy soft recovery suite uh kill disk partitioning tools we got active okay aomi uh mini tools metacrite or i forget i don't know how to say that uh, some recoveries here, data recovery, uh, easy recovery, data recovery over here, RAID, RAID reconstructor, interesting, Recurva I've used, uh, NAS recovery, huh, they have a bunch of tools here, some of them I haven't seen like NAS recover, don't know what that is, I'm guessing like to do some RAID stuff with NAS, uh, Rufus, tree size, winder, wind utilities, whiz tree, so tss, this has the same utilities as one of these okay so basically whiz 64 is also whiz 64 here so they it, i guess it got the links got stacked um we also got hardware information okay so you got benchmarking tools hardware info uh ssdz okay crystal disk mark okay benchmarking tools for our hardware then you have keyboard layouts network filezilla pen network remote desktop okay where's putty no putty technically if you're on windows 11 you got terminal so you don't need putty but okay no putty uh security wise you have antivirus kaberski uh defender pass reset unlock windows login key finders okay antivirus tools you have uh c cleaner hijack this okay there's a bunch of antivirus tools decent enough that is actually very very recent tools too we also have Kaberski in here and a few other tools that we could use. Uh, startup. Startup is probably nothing. Let me see. Yeah, nothing. Supplementary. Uh, graphics. Okay. It's viewers, image viewers and stuff like that. PDF to J JPEG. Medias. We have VLC, Audacity, Media Player. Office. We have the standard. Okay. Adobe Reader, WordPad, WinMerge. Uh, what about system tools now? Change, Theme Explorer, DirectX, Disable Firewall. Uh, easy okay so you're gonna find a few tools that pair up with some of the other utilities in a group so if uh, hard drive utility is also applied to a file utility you'll see them in th three different locations as well as if you see them in system tools I do like that this one actually has PowerShell ISE uh, allows you for coding uh, it does have PowerShell as well uh, reg edit remount yeah that's the tool up on top uh, win NT setup and then let me see if there's Windows tools. Uh, calendar, device, map, power command, share, system resources. All right. Taking a look at all the tools here. Um, it is missing a few things compared to Surlic and also uh, Medicat. There's a lot less tools in here compared to those. Like I don't have bit unlockers that I can unlock encrypted files uh, from, you know, Bitcoin locking stuff. Missing a handful of little tools like uh, WinCop, uh, WinSCP, I would like to have had that. I don't see it in here. I don't see PuTTY in here, but not anything. I mean, it does have these other utilities, which is the Linux FS and also the Apple FS, which is something I didn't see on the other file system. So we could, that's, that's good on this. So as far as the tools that we have been checking out, which is Medicat, Sergi, Sterlik, 
and um, Gandalf. I feel that Gandalf is probably the safest of the three, but it's the smallest. It, it is a 10 gigabyte file size uh, or 10 gigabyte ISO, but it lacks a few tools that I would commonly use. As far as Sergi, that one is probably the most, um, I would say has the most tools that I would use. I have actually been using that for quite some time now, fixing some Windows machines that I have at home. And it has all the tools that I need. It has PuTTY, it has everything that I would use. Uh, and then Medicat is just everything. It has so much. It takes 20 something gigs just to install. It has all the tools that you need. But if you're trying to look for something slim, this is probably what you're looking for, which is this 10 gigabyte image for Windows 11. Let me know if you guys have any other utilities because I do want to check them out. These, these things have been really cool. I'm just digging into this world of more USB tools now. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.